been talking a lot about plants and flowers this week, and today I'm going to read a special story. This is called Bumblebee, Bumblebee, Do You Know Me? Right? This was written and illustrated by Anne Rockwell. So she wrote the story and also drew the pictures. So this is Bumblebee, Bumblebee, Do You Know Me? Now this is a garden guessing game. So I'm going to need you to help me as we're reading this story. Okay? It's going to be lots of fun. Bumblebee, Bumblebee, Do You Know Me? Right. Bumblebee, bumblebee, do you know me? Yellow and green, I wave to the breeze to say that spring is here. You know what kind of flower that is? I am a daffodil. Butterfly, butterfly, do you know me? Here I stand, tall and straight, while my silky cup Catches rain. You know what kind of flower that is? I am a tulip. June bug, June bug, do you know me? My leaves point like swords and my petals wave like flags. Can you guess what kind of flower that is? I am an iris. Cricket, cricket, do you know me? Watch me pop open. See my tiny black seeds. Can you guess what kind of flower that is? Because I am a poppy. And we talked about poppies for Memorial Day. Ladybug, ladybug, do you know me? My thorns are prickly, but my blossoms are soft. You know what that is? I am a rose. Spider, spider, do you know us? We come in many colors and we turn our faces to the summer sun. Can you guess what those are? Because I am a zinnia. Oh, we are zinnias, it says. Leaf hopper, leaf hopper, do you know me? You'll find me at breakfast when my blue trumpet greets the day. Because I am a morning glory. Dragonfly, dragonfly, do you know me? I'm curly and speckled. My smell is the sweetest of all. Can you guess what that is? Do you have it in your garden? I am a lily. Katie did, Katie did, do you know me? Try and count my petals if you can. Hey, let's see if we can count them. I wonder if we can. Let's see, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. That's a lot of petals. It says I am a daisy. Little boy, little boy, do you know me? My fuzzy stem grows taller than you. I am big and round and golden. Can you guess what it might be? What do you think this next flower is? You ready? <gasps> What's that? You know what that is? That's a sunflower, yes. And sunflowers grow really, 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 really tall, way bigger than you boys and girls. Okay, that's a sunflower. Of course I know you, sunflower. I know all the flowers I see. Wasn't that a nice story, all those different flowers in that book? All right, so now we're going to do some, th some work um, with flowers. And as we saw in our book here, some flowers are small, some flowers are big, some flowers are short or tall. Um, they come in all different colors, all different sizes. And what we're going to do here is we're going to compare these flowers by coloring these little boxes. Okay, some are short and some are tall. So let's see. Let's look at this first one is done for you. There's one, two, three. See the top of this box here? See what the top of that flower is? If you go across, it goes to three. So they call it one, two, three boxes. Okay, so we're going to color the cube starting from the bottom to measure how tall each flower is. So they did that first one 
before us. So we're going to do the next one the same way. Let's look over here at the rows, okay? Let's look up here. Let's see. Here's the top of the rows, and it goes across like that. So we're going to take a crayon, and we're going to color in the box. We're going to start from the bottom. Okay, so here's one. Color one box there. And the flower is still a little bit bigger than that, so let's go up another box. Okay, is that how tall our flower is? Yes, this little tulip is two boxes tall. So our lily is one, two, three boxes tall, and our tulip is one, two boxes tall. All right, now this is our big uh, giant sunflower. Let's see if we can count how many boxes tall this sunflower is, okay, or cubes. Let's start at the bottom, or we start at the bottom. Here's one. Two, keep going, three, you always want to do one at a time when you're doing something like this, okay? And it's still taller, so we're going to make this four. So this sunflower was four, one, two, three, four, four cubes high. And then down here, I'm not really sure what kind of flower that is. I'm not sure if it's a phlox or iris or what it is. But anyway, we're going to see how many boxes tall that little flower is. All right. This is one. Should we go any taller? Should we go any more? No, we don't want to do any more. How about we go back and color our flowers now? Okay, this is our daffodil. We'll make our daffodil yellow. Daffodils are yellow. We'll do that. We'll color our stem green, our stem and our leaves. We'll do that. Okay, and here's our little tulip. I think maybe I'll make my tulip, I'll make my tulip pink. You can make whatever color you want, but I'm gonna make my pink. And again, we'll do our little stem and our leaf green and down here we know our sunflowers what color all right the inside is brown where the seeds are and then the rest of our sunflower is yellow and of course our stem and leaves are what color green okay so we'll do our stem and leaves green And now, our little flower over here, I'm going to make that purple. Okay, but again, you can make it whatever color you want. I see these flowers all the time. I don't have a garden, so I'm not really quite sure what that one is. All right, so here we have our daffodil, our tulip, our sunflower, and this little guy over here, whether it's, I think it might be a phlox or an iris. So now we're going to do, let's compare them, okay? Our lily was one, two, three boxes. Our tulip is one, two boxes tall. Our sunflower is one, two, three, four boxes tall. And our little guy over here is one. So which one do you think is the tallest? We talked about tallest and shortest yesterday. Tallest means the highest, okay? The sunflower is the tallest. So we're going to circle that sunflower. Circle the sunflower because that is the tallest or the biggest in height. And which one is the shortest or the smallest one in height? Yes, this little one over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a line through that one. Okay, so now we have our tallest and our shortest flower. All right, now there's something else that we're going to do today with flowers. Okay, what I want you to do is take this paper here. Okay, we're going to do a couple of different things with this paper also. And we see some shorter ones and some taller ones. Okay, so what we're gonna do, the first thing we're gonna do on this page is we're going to trace these dotted lines. Now these lines are gonna be our stems. So let's use our green crayon. You know, usually we use black when we're tracing, but today we're gonna use green because we're gonna be making these as our stems. So you're gonna start at the top and you're gonna put straight down to the bottom. All right, that's one. 
and we'll do the next one the same way. Start at the top, pull all the way down to the bottom. Look at your paper. And now we'll go again. Ready? To top and pull straight down. And we'll go to our next one. Take your time. Go right on those dotted lines. Keep them nice and straight. And then we'll do our last one also. Okay. All right, now we're gonna go back to those lines in a little bit. So let's go back and color our flowers. Now you can make your color, your flowers whatever color, whatever colors you wanna make them. I usually like making my insides yellow. I think I like the way that looks, but you can make yours however you want. If you wanna make the insides yellow like me, you can do it that way or not. If you don't wanna do that, that's fine. They're your flowers, so you can really color them Whatever colors you want to make them is fine. I just use nice, pretty color flowers. Nice, pretty colors. Okay. And let's see. Hmm. Maybe I'll make this one purple. But like I said, you can make them whatever colors you want to make them. It's perfectly fine. Because I'm sure whatever colors you make them, you're going to do a good job. Okay. And they'll be really pretty. Just like in a garden, there's all colors of flowers and all kinds. You can make yours whatever way you want. Okay, and maybe I'll make this one pink. And you don't have to do them the same color as me if you don't want to, that's perfectly fine. Okay, and let's see. Hmm, I think I'm just gonna keep my purple and pink today. You can do yours, whatever. So we color all our flowers in, and then I'll show you what we're going to do with the rest of this paper, okay? All right, now we have our flowers all colored. How many flowers do we have? One, two, three, four, five. All right, so... What we're going to do now is we're going to cut right on those dotted lines, okay? So I'm going to put this down, I'm going to get my scissors, take your scissors, and remember when you're using scissors, you always want your thumb in the little hole on the top and your other fingers on the bottom, and you want the scissors always pointing away from your body. Now very important when we're cutting, remember you want to look where? At your paper, okay? So we're going to hold the paper with our helping hand and we're going to cut very, very carefully. Okay, it doesn't matter which side you start or whichever side you're comfortable with. But you're gonna go right on the dotted lines, okay? And stop when you get to the flower because you don't wanna cut your flower off. Okay, you're gonna do the same thing on the next one. Look at your paper and cut slowly and carefully right on the line and stop when you get to the flower. Okay, you ready for the next one? Okay, slowly open and shut. Open and shut. Stop at the flower. All right, let's do the next one here. Open and shut, open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. Okay, and stop at the flower. And then we have our last one here. Okay. All right, there. So now we have our little flower garden and we cut on our lines. So we're still working with our flowers, okay? And if you have a garden in your yard, I wonder what kind of flowers you might have in your garden. Okay, you learned about lots of different flowers today.